this is a great movie. You're not gonna regret it. I'm Tim Heidecker. Great guests, great conversations, and a few arguments. It's on cinema at the cinema with me, your host, Tim Heidecker. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Welcome to On Cinema at the Cinema. My name is Tim Heidecker, and I got uh, with me Greg Turkington with me, as always. Hey uh, sorry, but we're a little behind uh, getting ready for this episode today. Um, yes, uh, as you can tell from the shirt here, I've been, we've been basically commuting back and forth between here and Hawaii about three or four times a week now, which is driving me nuts and um, doing a lot of red eyes. and um, Yes. So, but we are here to talk about movies, and um, let me get back into this here. Two, three, four, okay. I apologize, last night, I gotta say, a lot of things been going on. Uh, I've been tra traveling a lot, but um, the good news is the Heidecker family is back together again. Ayaka has come back to me with my son, Tom Cruise Heidecker, and we are all a uh, happy family living at the Turkington residence now, back in the master bedroom. Um, so we appreciate your hospitality, even though we're p hardly around, you and I, because we've been busy with Decker so much. Uh, I appreciate, uh, it's just great to be a family once again. And a quick plug a for my son, uh, Tom Cruise Decker, who um, is trying to be an actor. This is his headshot. He's such a natural on camera. He's got the acting He's bug. got that bug. He's got that thing in his eye that just says, wow, I'm going to be a star. Like uh, how uh, Harrison Ford was the Gerber baby. Oh, really? Yeah. Before you could Star see. Wars? Yeah, of course, when he was a baby. But you could see it in his eyes. The Gerber baby, he's like, you could tell that he's going to grow up to be a star. They don't just pick anybody out of the bucket. All right, so anybody out there watching in the biz, I know this is an industry show beloved by the industry. Anybody want to give old Tom Cruise Heidecker a, a shot? This is your opportunity to get in on the ground floor of something special because he has a unique talent. He's one of the greatest actors. He might have to change his name when he becomes super famous. Um, but that's Tom Cruise for you. So Contact me if you want to use him for commercials or uh, uh, billboards, whatever it is, because he's very talented for his age. And I uh, wish him the best. And, uh, anyway. He could play the baby in... Um Blondie, remember the old Blondie mm -hmm. comic strip? Did they ever make a yeah, movie? Yeah, I'm of sure that? they were going to reboot that. They reboot it all. So uh, I can almost see um, Meg Ryan or somebody like that playing that yeah. part. Um, all right, well, let's get to the movies because we have uh, to get out of here. And uh, I got a bug bite or something. I don't know what the hell happened there. In the it's heart of the those. in the heart of the sea. That's like where Hawaii is, right in the middle of the ocean. Directed by Ron Howard, old Richie Cunningham, Chris Hemsworth, he's done Cillian. a lot of other things than Richie Cunningham. I know, director. but I'm just saying he's he was in the original Happy Days show. He directed Cocoon, which we discussed. A last. whaling ship is preyed upon by a sperm whale, stranding its crew at sea for 90 days, thousands of miles from home. Uh, this is good. I mean, it's a good movie. It's a, sort of a seafaring movie with Chris Hemsworth starring in it, and really good to see him out there doing work. Um, I, you know, for Ron Howard, this is better than doing a TV show, I know. This is a great opportunity for him, uh, you know, although I do love watching those old Happy Days episodes as they show up on the TV. I'd rather watch a movie, though, than watch Happy Days, you know? Even if it's not a Ron Howard movie, I just, you watch four episodes of Happy Days, you could have just watched one movie, so it's just a waste of time. All right, but I did like this movie a lot, and I give it five bags of popcorn and one and bag also, of soda. also, Happy Days itself was a ripoff of a movie, American Graffiti, which is one of my favorite movies that Ron Howard's also in, but um, they just stole the whole concept right. and then turned it into a TV show. I don't think so. I think that that was a movement back in, that, in the 70s, late 70s, of sort of a nostalgia period towards looking back in the 50s with nostalgia. So you have bands like Sha Na Na and this and that. But American Graffiti, the Happy Days people admitted that was their inspiration. That's why they cast all the same people in it. Ron well, Howard and Tom Bosley was not in American Graffiti. No, so. well, they're not going to get the whole cast from Happy Days, mm -hmm. from American Graffiti into Happy Days. All right, well, uh, we'll agree to disagree on that. I think Happy Days would have happened whether or not you had American Graffiti or not. If you ask 
uh, Penny Mar or not Penny Marshall, her husband Rob Gary, Reiner. Gary Marshall. Rob Reiner. No, uh, Gary Marshall created Happy Days. He would have said that this is a, this is based on my childhood and growing up in a small town in the fifties. So, but American Graffiti was George Lucas before Star Wars. That's what he made, and that's what one of the reasons I like it so much is you can feel the roots of Star Wars in the story, even though it takes place in the fifties mm -hmm. in a little town. Some of the same conflicts come out. Did again you have a rating? Did you have a rating for In the Heart of the Sea? Yeah, I'm going to give it five bags of popcorn and five little rubber duckies in case you want to put them in a bathtub and recreate the movie in your own bath. All right, now this is the next movie called Cinderella. Where, where did you rate it? Uh, five bags. Uh, I want to talk about the next movie here, Cinderella. We all know the story of Cinderella, directed by Kenneth Brognaugh, uh, starring Kate Blanchett. Lily James, Haley Atwell, and Helena Bonham Carter. Uh, a live action retelling of the fairy tale. Well, we know what this is about, it's Cinderella. It's a classic movie with golden slippers and all the rest. Uh, we uh, love this movie, both of us saw this together. We had to, saw it last night at midnight and uh, couldn't say I didn't take a, a little uh, Sleeping Beauty rest of my own during some of it. But um, that is not to discredit that it is a great movie. It's one of the best movies of the year. And Kenneth Bragg now should get the Oscar for Best Director. And that would mean this is a classic five-bagger, and it deserves uh, my appreciation and support. Well, it's just interesting, because Cinderella has become, over the years, something for children. And there's aspects of the story that are uh, very adult. Mm -hmm. And I think that this movie uh, kind of delved into that a little bit. I would probably still bring a child to see it, but I would warn them ahead of time, this isn't a cartoon, this is something different. I stuck uh, Tom Cruise in front of the boob tube the other day because I had to take a uh, go to the bathroom for a longer period of time. And uh, I put him in front of whatever was on, Judge Wapner, whatever, I put him in front of that. And he was pretty per pretty sort of like a moth to the flame watching that. I have a lot and, of uh, children's movies, though, that you can show them. You don't have to put them in front of that. Tom Thumb, I've got was Russ Tamlin. I just picked that up right, the well, other next day. Next time I'll put on a movie for him, but I didn't want to go through that process of getting your shit out of order. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and we gotta go. Are we doing right. a popcorn yeah. classic? No, we're not doing anything like that. We gotta go. Come on, we gotta go to Hawaii.